All right, folks, I'm raw dogging it today. I'm not editing, I'm not bothering with much. I'm just recording with the camera, this light, upload it because I want to use this and I want to use it tomorrow. And I'm tired, I'm not hugely sober. Actually, hang on, let's throw this little, this little doobie whack up, which is actually really good. Uh, been drinking all day working in the garden. Let's just see how that's panning out. I haven't had anything for about half an hour, but. So let's say, 0.015, all right, maybe I'm just mostly tired. I feel like I couldn't drive, I probably shouldn't just from exhaustion, but I got a Fido light. Uh, it says some, some words there. Basically, I've been uploading those other ones. I've got the Wee Grow, I've got the Mize Hard Road, talking to some people, and Reddit was saying Fido light. Oh no, they said King Bright, but I'll try that next. I found King Bright on, what is it, Alibaba? And then I found Fido light, and I was like, yeah, this, this looks even better. So it was 18 bucks US and then 16 bucks for shipping. So like 34 US, which was 46 Australian. So at less than half of the price of the other. Comes in a box. I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet too. Came in bubble wrap, I've already pulled it out. We don't need that. And it's got some clips on the corners, which is great. Uh, your standard hanging hooks. Actually, it turns out these do matter. This one. I've started using them. Uh, this one doesn't have any ratchets, but uh, one carabiner, a couple of hooks. Turns out I need a lot of these, so I'm gonna start getting some more. The ratchets are handy too. Spec sheet. So it's got some other brand and some details on there and some shiz on the back. So it says it's using Samsung LM281B plus, hang on, beer. Hmm diodes, uh, zero noise, a lot of stuff, you can pause it and read it. So 60 to 65 watt, AC 100 to 265 works for us, no inverter required. Uh, full spectrum, so it's got UV, IR, uh, which is why I got it, I want yeah, at least four different LEDs, UV, IR, cool and warm, 100,000 hours lifespan, doesn't weigh much, 30 centimeters by, oh, pardon me, 30 centimeters. Includes eye protection sunglasses? I'm gonna to write to them, I didn't get that. In fact, I didn't get, maybe I lost it, but I didn't get that, the, all right, you can see that there. I didn't get the sun, the straps or the sunnies. I'm gonna to write to them about that. But I mean, this got 3200K plus 4200K plus red light plus IR plus UV. It's got full spectrum and then some. So, comes on this, don't need this. It comes on a, a decent aluminium board, so this is a pretty heavy aluminium board and you can see there are some very thick tracks in this manufacturing process, so I'm quite impressed. Uh, you can see there's a few variations of LEDs, so it looks like a lot uh, warmer, cooler, that's probably going to be some red, that's going to be some UV, there's probably some IR over there or something, I can't tell what's what, I can tell when you turn it on. And uh, mount here where the power comes through, so it's all sealed in. Feels coated, but I've learned my lesson before. I'm not fucking touching it while it's running. There's a little driver on the back here, which I'm a bit curious about. Uh, rim, rimmer Up is that brand we saw before on a bit of paper. Same sort of thing. So this says 600 watts, but I think that means 60 watt. I think that's the overseas uh, translation. And yeah, it's got a little driver with something going on here. Now I've already tested this. It does 62 to 67.2 watts. So it is sucking a bit. Oh, also, oh, if I can get it, it's got an on-off switch. No dim-off, but on-off switch, which is nice. So it is sucking a bit more juice than it says, but I'm all right with that. All right, I'll use my gear to hold that there. So I'm gonna multimeter the socket on the back and see what power's coming through. Pretty certain from how my phone was going, taking a photo of this, that it is AC, uh, not DC. And I mean, I don't know. It's got a driver that is not labeled. I really want to rip off, but I won't. And there are some rolling bands, so it's definitely AC. But no noise, no fan, no sharp edges. It's pretty well made, probably conformally coated. Suck it makes me curious. So at least it's replaceable if something goes wrong. I've already bent the edge a bit, but well, it's all good. So if we turn it on, it's bright as balls. There you can see, I can't. I'm glad you probably can. There's the rolling bands too. 
So we can immediately see, I don't even know where my sunnies are. So there's a different LED there. We've got some reds, got some warms, got some cools. There's the IR down in there. So it's got everything. Let's turn that off again. Oh, I can see it when I close my eyes. That's great. It gets warm quick too. Now, what I'm curious about next is what's going on. This is terrible. I really should put my sunnies on. What's, oh, that's a fun socket to probe. What's going on in there? Now, I can't see great either, so this may may bust or boom or something, but let's see if we can... Like that. That may happen. Driver might be dead now. Uh, oh, let's get the crap out of me. Nope, still works. This whole not seeing thing is really difficult. Um, so this is on auto mode and it defaults to DC, but I want to get the positive there. I don't care if it's backwards. I don't want to be touching the rest of this. Alright, so it's like, fuck! It's saying 100 volts DC. Which one? I've got to stop this. Why? I'm going to change this mode to AC. See if it says anything different. Zero volts AC. I'm doing range DC. I mean DC makes sense with the sparks that was. Just, ow! With the sparks that's chucking. Hundred volts. Why are the rolling bands? Maybe it's just my camera. Being a bit garbo, but uh, all right. 100 volts DC makes a bit of sense. There are some wide tracks on here. They're about 29 and 12 mil wide. I can't see very well right now. Uh, AC transmits current better, so you don't need the wide tracks to uh, disperse the heat or handle the current. DC needs much wider tracks. So that's probably some two gram or better um, copper in that too. So the last thing, I'm gonna get my sunnies for this. Go me, I left them in the car. All right. Last thing, I want to see what sort of light it's putting out. Got a little meter, same as before. And we'll do that same test. We're gonna turn this on, I'm gonna try not to look too. There's my sunnies. Try not to look too closely at it. Even with sunnies on now, Let's see how she goes, so. Also impressed that that driver took a couple of pops of me shorting it, and it seems like there's some self-resetting fuse or something. It's actually way better with the sunnies. Ah. Look at that. All right. Holding the sunnies over the camera lens, you get a lot more detail. Soak it in. Anyway, back on my head before I go blind. Um, I forget what I was saying. So, power. And I've got about six inches over it. We want to go 100x. All right, we've seen the sixes to sevens. So we're gonna vary a bit depending on where on the board we are. So we're getting fours and fives around the outside of that. Right in the middle, yeah, we're getting a solid seven. I can feel the warmth of this is shucking out too. Ooh, nearly touched it. Uh, yeah, you don't have to move it far. I really should start measuring these with a wooden ruler. So if like if I get down to two or three inches, eight hundred. If I get for a thousand there. So this is this is definitely comparable to the Wee Grow. Um, I mean, not that pile of garbage. This is very very comparable to the Mars Hydro. However, it costs half the price, and that can piss off. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting warm, but it's not un intolerable. Um, half the price, and I prefer this form factor. So I would probably buy these over the others. I haven't tried the King Bright yet, but this is great. I really, really like this. I'm curious about this driver. I'm curious why there's rolling bands, but that's a later me problem because I just can't be asked. Uh, now, I wouldn't run it and touch this because if that's DC... 100 volts. In fact, it doesn't matter what it is. The, yeah, well, especially the D3, there's going to be a lot of amps going through there. So if you touch both of these while it's running, you might become very alive and very quickly. And yes, I do watch Michael Reeves. Also, some of the soldering is not quite great or it's slightly misaligned, but look, it works. So, Fido lamp, Fido light, Fido light, whatever it is, or whatever your other brand is. Um, Rimmer up. 
Okay, apparently this driver is an EVAP master from Germany. Uh, yeah, this gets two thumbs up for me. I'm actually going to start using it for my chili grow. So thank you Reddit people for pointing this out to me. Thank you Alibaba for existing and wasting hours of my time with your hundreds of deals uh, or the hundreds of listings of the same cheap uh, overseas crap. But wade through it, you get good. I'm going to go put it up. Uh, I'll review the King Bright when I get to it, when I order one in a couple of weeks. For now, this is the winner all round. I'll put a link below. Subscribe, like, don't play with the electricity like I do. Uh, look after your skin and hands better than I do. Drink beer, stay in school, have fun.